This is a homemade quarter wave CB ground plane. This has got a um, quarter wave radiator. And as you can see here, I'm using a electrical box and uh, some plumbing clamps that keep the antenna together. This has um, also got a nat matching network on it. As I climb a little closer here, you can see it. This one's made out of just basic uh, hookup wire. It can be made out of just about anything with solid wire. I've used a uh, electrical tape to insulate the antenna, the actual radiator of the antenna, along with those clamps there, as you can see, that holds it firmly in place. And that insulates the antenna, the actual radiator part, from ground. This uh, coil is a six-turn coil, and you can see well, the size of my hand, about how many turns it is. It's like six turns. And right here I have a uh, tap. It's an alligator clip. And the coil goes from the bottom of the radiator right there to a ground connection right here right on that clamp. This uh, part here is uh, tapped at one turn. Right here I have an ordinary uh, compression type um, capacitor. That's for tuning the SWR. And here I just have an alligator clipped right on the end of the coax. Also used just to decouple, help decouple the uh, RF from the uh, line. I used uh, just a basic uh, toroid. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And that's probably not even necessary because we have ground radials on this, which is, uh, in this case, I use some galvanized wire down with these uh, plastic stakes that go on the ground hold up for use for fencing and I have all three of them so the uh, a little bit about the electrical box this is I, I found at the hardware store some basic u-bolts um, with the uh, clamps you probably don't necessarily need these but they do help um, and the idea was to get an electrical box and drill as few holes as possible so you have these convenient knockouts here, and I knocked out some. Um, and here, as you can see, um, inside the box, and I put these big fender washers in here uh, in order to give it some backing so it wouldn't go through the holes. I did the same thing with the uh, clamps that hold up the radiator. These are uh, fixtures, these are plumbing fixture clamps, and they have a stud hole right there you can put a bolt in. I think in this case it was a 3 8 inch coarse thread uh, bolt. I got a short bolt and I backed it with some uh, more fender washers and again they mount nicely in the uh, the knockout holes in the box. Look at it from that view. There's the uh, back of it and it just sits here on a pole that's 10 feet tall and I planted it here in the ground. Now we follow into the uh, shop. We got a radio. We'll look at the uh, SWR on it. Okay, looking at the radio, I'm using an ICOM IC718 at uh, 27.405 megahertz, and that's uh, channel 40. So if we look at the SWR, I've got it on SWR setting right there. You can see it in a little bit out of focus, but that's SWR. When I key the mic, you can see it's a 1.1 1 .1 to 1. And if I look at power output on this, change it to look at power output, you'll see it's full 100% power. So it's putting a, producing 100, 100 watts output. So if I go back to SWR, we can look at SWR on this channel. Now we go to uh, 26965, which is, is uh, channel 1. And I'll get that now and enter that. Enter. Okay. And we key the mic and we see the SWR is still flat. 1.1 1 .1 to 1 and we go look at the power output. Again, that's full power output. And uh, now here's the schematic. Shows you what it looks like. Here's a drawing I made of the antenna for ease of understanding it. And you can see here, in this case, coax goes up along the side of the mast. doesn't have to, but in this case, in this drawing, I did. 
Notice we got three ground radials, and they're all 108 inches each, or about nine foot. And the radiator is the same thing. Here's the uh, matching network, and right here we have uh, the five-turn coil. Uh, notice it's connected to the bottom of the pipe, or the main radiator. Here's the tuning capacitor. In this case, it'll be a 300, about a 300 picofarad tuning capacitor, and then it goes in series with your center conductor, and the coax shield goes to ground, and this coil, same thing. You know, go one end of the coil is grounded, and the other end goes to the uh, antenna. This is a shunt feed, and you adjust the capacitor for best SWR. In this case, I tapped it at the first tap, or the first turn below the uh, top there is an alternative network, and it's right down here, right here, and you notice it's using the same coil, only this time it's tapped in the middle, and the, you have a 150 picofarad capacitor. One side goes to ground, the other one goes to the center tap of the coil. And this time the coil goes in series with the radiator and the center conductor of the coax, and the coax uh, shield, of course, is grounded. So this makes very nice, very good homemade ground plane and it works very well and it costs very little to make.